All right, yep, this is how I drop weight. I'll put a link to the description, uh, or in the description, to the little sauna thing that I'm using. Yeah, I got the little... Yeah, little nipple. Uh, got the little pink one, because it's cheap, and I'm broke. Um, and excuse my unfinished house, because I'm broke. Um, living off the grid on dialysis is kind of hard. But yeah, this is how I drop weight. Um, I find that sweating works a lot better for me than at dialysis. At dialysis, you pull all your fluid out of your blood, which is, I mean, I guess that's what your kidneys do. So I, I was gonna say that's not normal, but I guess it is normal, that's what your kidneys do. But your kidneys also kind of control um, how it's done on your terms, not on the machine's terms. So you're doing it at a really fast rate and it's just not what your body wants to do at that speed. So then you pull all the fluid out of your blood and chemicals out of your blood and then you need to, as they say, replenish. That's what the whole crit line is about, is, is talking about replenishment and knowing how much fluid you're actually getting back into your blood from your cells. That's also what cramping really is. You're not necessarily dry at dialysis when you cramp. You're just not able to get fluid back into your blood from your cells very well. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna get the fluid out of my cells. Um, you can already see a little bit of sweat developing as it comes out of my skin. Um, I'll drop a little bit of other electrolytes too not a whole lot that'll affect my labs, but the fluid moving will definitely affect my labs and it'll also get things into my blood better for dialysis. The biggest thing about this is, is that I feel good afterwards and that I can go drink fluid and not do what I call the yo-yo effect. Because if I take fluid off at dialysis, then I'm equalizing afterwards and balancing out and I feel crappy and I'm super thirsty and when I drink it sits in my stomach and doesn't get into my body and doesn't give me any sort of satiation I believe is the word um, and so then I just feel thirsty and then I just keep putting on water um, and as I said in another video when you feel thirsty is when you know you're in trouble um, because that's when the fluid's not sitting right and you need to move the fluid around as a dialysis patient. You might not even actually need fluid. You might have plenty of fluid and just need to move it around and need to move your electrolytes and stuff. Um, so sometimes sweating will actually stop me from feeling as thirsty. Um, it definitely helps because then when I drink a little bit, I feel good and I'm all right when if I pull any sort of fluid off at dialysis, um, I feel terrible. And I'll show you my labs, uh, my, uh, at least the lab that I have right now. I've got to check if it's last month's or not. It's just the one that I have handy. I have a negative fluid gain on there for my lowest fluid gain. Um, I just really want to point out, I've been on 15 years. I've had ups and downs with fluid function as far as how much I've passed. I've had times where I pass very little to none, and now I actually pass probably some of the most that I have because I know how to encourage that by changing the balance. Like after I sweat, it'll help things and I'll probably pass some fluid. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this is how I manage fluid. Yeah, I'm good at rambling. So, like I said, I'll put the link in description and check it out. Again, also, as I've said before, always check with your doctor about your space. Make your own decisions for yourself. Of course, this is pushing my heart, um, that we push our heart at dialysis and make sure you're capable. But I do think most patients are capable of this, and it would very much help most patients. All right, so I forgot to say a few things. First off, this is not intended as any sort of medical advice. If you have any questions or make any medical decisions yourself, talk to your doctor, consult your interdisciplinary care team, and make your own choices. 
get educated and yeah um, I'm just giving insight into my life and my experiences how I deal with dialysis and trying to just show what I do um, so just want to show you also this is what I look like when I'm really sweating decently I'm not sweating hard some of this is steam but most of this is sweat I can sweat a lot harder if I'm in a drier hotter sauna um, and I've been in some pretty hot saunas um, and I also wanted to say that um, I have had heavy uh, fluid gains I do know what it's like to struggle with fluid I manage my fluid now but it wasn't always so easy. It was really hard at one point. I ranged between like 71 to 74 kilos over the 15 years um, as I work out at different levels and surf at different times. And so I have different food intakes. Um, and I have had like five and a half, six kilo gains somewhere in there years ago. And I have pulled off, I think 5.5 is my max. And it was miserable. Um, so I do know what it's like. And I'm not just saying that it's easy. Um, but it does get easier when you find tricks to get on top of it. For me, getting off any fluid outside of dialysis is huge. And so that's what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I got to say. I hope you enjoy the rest of what I got to say as we start over. All right, so it's been a little while after sweating, had a little time to equalize. I just wanted to show the difference in my face. You can see how much the bags under my eyes have changed. Still got some on this one, um, but not nearly as much. You can see how much fluid I've was able to get out of my face because um, I have fluid around my eyes. And yeah. So, that's me sweating. Alright, so it's the end of the day. I got back from dialysis. Um, I dropped 2 kilos from 73.8 down to 71.8. Definitely a bit dry. Um, not that that's a problem. It's really easy to come up on fluid. Uh, but I just really want to show another example of like how long it takes for the fluid to get out of the cells, into the blood. Like You can see the difference in my face now. Um, and I really should have been more aware that I had fluid sneaking up on me. I didn't really feel it, but it definitely affects my performance in the surf. Any surfer would think if I, if I told them I'm going to put five pounds on you and water down your blood and make you hung over, they'd be like, what are you talking about? Um, so yeah, two kilos is a bit. Um, like I said, I just wanted to show you can see the difference on my eyes at the end of the day after treatment and after sweating how much the bags have disappeared and how different it is. Uh, yeah, that's just what I wanted to add.